What's up? How y'all doing? It's Jared. This is a Microtech Ultratech. If you saw the Q&A video I just did, it's been giving me some problems, and I don't actually know what is causing it. I haven't used this thing in a while, but you see right there, it didn't actually deploy the blade all the way. It's doing that very consistently. So y'all retract back in, it doesn't actually deploy all the way in. So there's something going on that something got caught up in this mechanism. The last time I was carrying it, a piece of pocket lint, something like that, got caught up in the track. So I'm going to disassemble this, actually see what's going on. And this is really serendipitous, because if you notice, this thing's got some proprietary hardware there. You need a special tool to actually be able to take it apart. And the other day, literally yesterday, I just bought this one. This is a Microtech Ultra, or excuse me, this is a Microtech Tachyon 3 Stormtrooper. And the Tachyon 3 Stormtrooper, well, the Tachyon 3 itself comes with the Microtech tool, because it's a ballet song, and it's kind of necessary that they give you a tool with it. And so it's kind of funny because the next day my Ultratech craps out. So let's actually just pop all these screws out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this if I actually need to get a tool. Oh, they are going to come out. This is a really nice little design tool though because you can see here that it's got that hole in it. And so if you need more torsion, you can slide something like that in there and actually get a lot more, you know, pr pressing force. On the actual screws but this one is going to come out nice i don't know if the rest of them are this is actually the first time i've ever disassembled this particular ultratech so see how it does bring in my little tray i don't worry about the screws the uh, orientation on the screws of this here i'm not going to pay any attention to i'm going to pull all these screws out come back to you so got all the screws out. Actually take it out. Set her down here. Open her up. If I can actually. What I'm gonna do is see if I can get my fingernail in there. Actually, yeah, pop her off. You see that little tiny spring right there that just popped off? That is actually what lies underneath the button. It keep, gives the bunch button just a little bit of tension so that it doesn't shake around. And you notice how it popped out right there? I'm really lucky that it landed on my table. So you want to be really careful, make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. There's the button. Pop this top scale off. And I can already see what I think is going on in here. Um, there's an excessive amount of oil in there. I never actually oiled it. This is all factory oil, so that's actually not what is causing the problem. You can see here, here's your spring, main spring housing. Come on, get out. Take out the stop pin there. Here's your locking pin. It actually gives you your stopping engagement from the blade not flying out of the knife. It pops out and there's it's disassembled you can see the two locking springs that actually hold it into place and i think may maybe what happened here you can see there is a lot of a lot of debris kind of just crapped up inside there so i think just over you know over time it's gotten a little bit dirty on the inside it's kept up a little bit of dirt and pocket lint and it looks like it's congealed to that oil that it's got actually factory grease that's sitting in there so i'm going to clean all this factory grease out get all the gunk you know pocket lint and everything out of there and then reassemble it and actually put some Benchmade Blue Lube in there. So go with a dry lube. It'll probably work a lot better. I'm going to clean this up. Come back to you. Just a little trick for cleaning, actually cleaning out the inside of this that I've just always done is the end of your spring, the little tab that actually runs on the, the little chassis, makes an excellent tool. You can grab it with a paper towel and actually get inside all those little nooks and crannies. You can see that there. It, it works around so you can grab that paper towel and get it in all the little spots and work around it makes an amazing little cleaning tool as well little tip all right i'll wipe down give you guys an idea this is the little corner of a towel that i was using to clean it up you can see just the amount of gunk and crap that i that i pulled out of this knife you can see that that's a track line there from the inside of the track so you can give you an idea how much gunk was actually up in this thing and i'm not going to lubricate it now i may choose to lubricate it in a little while but i'm actually not going to do that now so i'm just going to reattach my little springs make sure they're going into the correct orientation here so they're both facing the right way hold on i 
actually get this thing on here. So make sure that they're both facing the right way, which you can see I did not do. Aha, check that out. So I'm going to pull it off and put it back on. Let's see what I'm doing here. So both of them set up in the right direction. The little hook goes into the open section of the back. And the little tab pops right up front. Sits on there like that. And it's always good to check for, check your blade, make sure that it does slide in and out. See, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to release this little locking bar and the blade should fully drop in. It should actually fall past this second lock all the way into its lock position. And you see, it didn't quite make it past that second lock there. Um, I'm still actually going to reassemble it because it, it did pretty good. I'll hold it directly all the way up. Let's see. Let's see, it did. We made it all the way in. So that passes, and I'm going to reassemble it. Actually get it up into the unlock position here. Reinsert my stop pin. Put on a little chassis. Make sure the chassis is running in its track. You can see it disengaging both of the locks there. The other side here is that this top lock is actually disengaged by this ramp. You can see that, that cutout section there, and this little tab protruding is actually what rides into the, the button itself, the switch itself. So that's actually what gives you your engagement. You can see that it's disengaging it there, and it disengages it when I pull it back here if the blade wasn't already holding it up. Line that. Get your little spring. Set her in her hole. And this button here rides on these little tracks. So you just line up the little tracks. Place it on. Make sure everything's you got tension. You can see it's not moving anywhere. And that is actually, you can see those little tabs is actually what holds the button on. So now I'll just stick the frame, the top frame. Make sure everything's matched up. And before I even stick any of the screws in, what I'm going to do is pull the blade all the way out, giving a lot of tension on here because I'm not, it's open, doesn't have any screws in it, and I'm just going to test the mechanism. That's running fine. Running good. So I'm going to stick all these screws back in, come back. Back in action. And I honestly suggest if you don't, if it's not just stuck in your brain, rewind this video and listen to the, the sound beforehand. And now that it's actually running good. Now listen to it now that it's actually running good. It's just a different sound. It's got a thud that wasn't there before. It's definitely running better. I may drop a couple drops of grease in there. Then again, I may just let it run dry. Some people may consider it a serious negative that you need to do maintenance on a knife like this. And especially a knife in this price range. This is a $300 knife, and that is legitimately general maintenance that I have to do with this knife. But the thing is, somebody who pays $300 for a knife and three, somebody who really enjoys knives, it's not having to do maintenance, it's getting to do maintenance. Because if this thing hadn't crapped out and stopped working, I wouldn't have needed to disassemble it and make this video. And this is just fun for me, so... It's positive and it's a negative. Am I going to rely on something like this that's going to require general maintenance to, you know, protect my life or if I'm on duty, something like that? No, hell no. I'm never going to rely on something like this. But as a general civilian, being able to come home and take it apart at night, being able to come home and take it apart at night, do I like it? Hell yeah, I like it. This thing is awesome. Y'all have a good one.